Wait, the daughter is abducted. Who wants to lure you in the kitchen? That is a really good point, Reza. That is... So maybe our daughter... It wasn't even our daughter really apologizing. It was whoever abducted our daughter. Oh, we should check out the bookshelf. Make sure there's nothing to read. Hmm. Maybe the demon wants to lure us into the, into the kitchen. We also need to find those six other objects. Or five other objects. So again, this is the first room. Yeah, all right. I think the kitchen, we don't have a map with us. But if I remember, the kitchen is down, no. The kitchen is from the basement. No, from the entrance hall. We can get to the kitchen, I believe. Baba Yaga knows how to text. The Baba Yaga is not only a demon who eats children, she's also very hip with the times. She's one of those really technologically sound grandmas. This is lock two. Hmm. So there, seem, there seems to be a number of keys that we're gonna need to find. One up here as well. We should also be able to get into the kitchen from up here. There's her drug. Oh. Her drug medicine. That mirror throws me off every time. I bet there's one of the things in here. Once we get the key to it, we'll be able to open this and it will um, have one of the pivotal items in it. All right, this is the bedroom, right? Yeah. So I'm looking in here again because we saw that teddy bear with Ruby in it. Or the, the teddy bear is named Ruby or whatever it was. It was kind of a doll, like a creepy, really creepy doll. But if we can find the doll, we'll have one of the items. And since this is her room, I figured maybe it was in here, but it doesn't look like it is. Oh. Oh, this is just water from coming in from the broken window. Nice, good. It's not blood. We're also gonna be just interacting with everything that we see to make sure there's no like hidden passageways or things that we need to press. Jess's diary, October 16th, 2016. I wish Ben was here. It's not the same when he's away. He's been away, he's been my rock through all of this and so supportive of Chloe's custody case. Ah, so Ben is our husband. He's right when he said you can't change the past and what matters is that I'm trying to do the right thing now. The scariest thing about having a child, it's not the pain or the sleepless nights, it's the love. Nobody prepares you for that. I loved Chloe when she was born, when I was high, when I gave her up, even when I was a thousand miles away and I love her now. She's mine and I'll never let anyone take her from me again. All right. Q hero mom. We're gonna rescue her from the demon. Oh shit, this is locked as well. Dang it, maybe we need to go in from we need to go into the kitchen from outside. I think that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> so down the stairs, down the hallway, um, out the gated door to outside. And we'll also uh, go through any doors that we find that are unlocked that we haven't gone through yet, if we see any. Oh, God, that looks super disturbing. Someone got dragged down this staircase. It's kind of an interesting dragging mechanic that I feel like a lot of horror games have been implementing recently. It was also in Observer, the game we played a couple weeks back. Where when you open a door, you have to grab it with your mouse by clicking and then drag it forward or backwards. 
And I guess it kind of adds to the immersion, but it, it is a little odd. And it can be kind of finicky. Make doors a little bit more difficult to open than they need to be. I don't really know how I feel about it. I thought I would just mention it. Because <laughs> it is definitely interesting that games like this are moving in that direction. I'm guessing this one also has it because of the VR aspect. Like when you have your VR headset in, you would just grab it with a little controller. Okay, so we need to go outside. Game, you are mine. Okay. Oh, nice. Some more candles in here. That door is locked as well. Let's check the map again. I want to see exactly where we are. Oh, I think we dropped it. Yeah, we dropped it by the fire. No? We didn't drop it by the fire. Or did we? Shit. <laughs> hmm. Guess we didn't. Okay. Well, we lost the map. It's fine. So this is the original room. Which means the door to outside would be right down this hallway, but I believe that one's locked as well right now. Maybe we can get outside through those windows that were broken? No, doesn't look like it. Ugh. That is a lot of blood. Someone got really messed up right there. I feel like these candles are just going out randomly. Maybe I'm just imagining that and we never even lit those. Paracetamol? Paracetamol? You know, like an allergy pill or something like that? Hmm. All right, let's go all the way to the opposite end of the downstairs area. Maybe this is, okay. Go all the way down the hall here to the left. No, lock two, Jesus. How to get into. Outside. Oh, wait. Damn it! Also pain meds, you think? I gotcha. But I think she... Didn't she have an addiction to pain meds? Maybe it's just like... Uh, Non-addictive, like NSAIDs. Pain medication. non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Because it does seem like this is probably set in Russia. Based on all the lore and stuff we've been finding. Oh, maybe there's a door in here that's... Yeah, okay, so this is this is the kitchen. This is the one place we haven't been yet. Or the one place we have access to that we haven't been yet. Oh, the fridge. Oh! God. Okay, we weren't even looking at the fridge, but something knocked it over. <laughs> you know, this game is actually getting me more than a lot of other horror games we played recently. Like, normally, normally I handle it pretty well, but some of these jump scares are really well done. There was a young woman, bullied and teased by all the other people in her village. She was always alone and longed to be a mother and have a child to love and care for her. As she grew older, she became more and more of a recluse. Children used to prank her, knowing she yearned for a child and would knock on her front door and run away. It is said that this is what drove her insane. In her insanity, she became she made a deal with the demon. That demon being the Baba Yaga. A deal was made to grant the woman a wish, a child. In doing so, she had to serve the Baba Yaga by making sacrifices to her. As the village children taunted her, she sort 
Re she sought revenge is what they meant on them by putting a curse on her front door by doing so condemning the child who knocked on her door to be chosen sacrifice for the baba yaga interesting okay that that plays into the don't knock twice lore you can use the axe to open locked doors by chopping off the handle what axe I don't see an axe. And that's why they blocked this locked door with the fridge, because we can't get through it at all. So if we get an axe in here, we'll be able to open locked doors. Basically is what they're saying. Okay, so this is creepy as hell, but the doll that we need is in the uh, in the oven, burning. That's nice. Oh, this is the map of the entire house. So we're currently... in the kitchen this is the second floor this is the kitchen so we're like right right oh yeah we're right here so this door that we're going to open here in a second is actually going to go into the main room again which is why this ruby that we're going to somehow figure out how to get out of the oven is positioned right here because it will go straight into that circle in the next room so we need to find an axe Wait, wait, wait. Chloe's last text is, what's happening to me? In the kitchen, the doll, it burns. Yeah, so Chloe is totally Baba Yaga. <laughs> or maybe we're crazy and made a deal with Baba Yaga to get our daughter back or something? That's a possibility. Deaf Russia, ax in the kitchen. <laughs> we'll have to ask Max that tomorrow. He, he apparently lives in Russia. <laughs> Axe in the kitchen. If we can find the damn axe. All I see is pans. It, it cued us. It gave us a like indication that there was... We were supposed to find an axe when we walked up to this door. But it didn't really tell us where the axe is. And we definitely don't already have the axe. I don't think. Because there's no like inventory or anything. I need to make sure to look up as well because I feel like we've forgotten. We've been forgetting to look up recently. Maybe on top of this thing? We can't jump though, so we won't be able to get up there. Oh, there's an axe. Very obviously hidden. Hmm. So can we, we I, it looks like even though this is, looks like a locked door, we can't open the oven with. So we just turned off the gas to the oven. Nice. All right, I'm down. Nice. Fire. Okay. Let's grab the axe again. 
because this seems useful as hell. Oh, by the way, we <laughs> playing The Witcher has really got me in the mood, and we got that quest completion sound and put it on our soundboard. So now if there's ever an appropriate time, you may hear this. <laughs> okay, someone's playing the piano. We need to make sure we remember we can swing with this if we see an enemy, although I don't think there's actual combat in this game, but I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, the music intensifies. Yeah, right? Yeah, there's like weird, deep, throbbing, like, uh, beat kind of in the background. Oh, we can... Oh! Nope. 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 God. <sighs> that was the Baba Yaga, I guess. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chill, 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 chill. Oh, okay, I'm gonna take a break real quick. Happy times. <laughs> Front, Jess and baby Chloe. Back, the right note is the key to find the spirit of the servant. Oh, this is the necklace, the eye. Um, that we need for the other one. So this is the next hint. That was Kalinx. <laughs> was Kalinx. The right note is the key to finding, to find the spirit of the servant. Okay, so I'm guessing the right note is this one. <laughs> Alright, I'll take it. But open some secret passageway. It's pretty cool. Real. What the hell? Kalinka, a Russian song for children. That's interesting. How do you. How do you know all this? Oh, God. They always slam the dang doors behind you. Five out of seven. That'd be cool. I hope we can get all these. I'm enjoying the little collectible aspects of it. I always enjoy collectible aspects of games. Hmm. Steam reveals the secret to the air. Ben and Jessica's engagement ring. So all these photos with the weird, creepy phrases on the back. They are like tips to finding the correct stone to put in the circle. So this is like the steam stone, the engagement ring. By the way, that is a big ass gym. It's a drinking song for us, starting slow and getting faster. Always the same melody. <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah, because it was playing really slow there, but I could definitely see if you could speed it up. That'd be interesting. Better Homes and Gardens. I bet that Better Homes and Gardens paid them to plug this. Alright, so let's let's ignore the elephant in the room. The, the bathtub filled with creepy blood. And, um... Hashtag advertising. Oh. Oh. Shit. Die. Die. Yeah. The guys. 
the devs are like, a core focus of this game is reading into the history. And while you're reading, you may experience some other books that are different than some of the different books, including some books that may have been paid advertisements. All right, so what the... What was that about? This is now unlocked, so there wasn't even... Maybe the engagement ring is in here? Can we turn the shower on? Oh, our... Our candle went out. And you find a fire to relight it. I'm guessing we cannot find this ring yet. We probably had to follow the natural progression of the story. So we're going to go down here and hatchet the lock off this chest of drawers right here. Or whatever it is. See if there's anything in here. Oh, nice. No doll. And then head back downstairs. Actually, we could... Explore more. Oh, there's another hatchet. Cool. God, can we not turn that thing off? So we lit we lit our candle again. Oh god. Okay, it went off. That was the loudest thing. Folklore of the Baba Yaga tells the servant's name tells of the servant's name. The bearer of the necklace. <laughs> I smell a jump scare. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I feel like there's one coming. I was actually expecting there to be some kind of like ring moment where the Thing comes out of the TV. The evil hag's powers are limited on Earth, and she needs to help. She needs the help of a human slave or cursed soul to carry out her commands. It is said that the only way the servant can be free of the demon is if they kill themselves or if they trick someone else into replacing them by doing something truly evil. So that's how we're gonna get rid of this Baba Yaga. I'm guessing. Either do something truly evil or trick someone else into replacing us as her curse. Hmm, I want to go grab that, but I, we can't. I, we have two axes now. That's kind of neat. Make sure there's nothing else in here. It's just a receipt for paracetamol. I'm guessing, a, like you said, a painkiller or something like that. Oh, there are so many axes in here. Okay, well, let's throw them all on the bed, and then if we need them, we can always come back up here and grab another axe. We'll use this one for now, though. Go bust open any other locked doors real quick before we continue forward. Oh, this one's already unlocked. Okay. This is the diary that we read earlier. And here are the two floating... creepy gemstone things. There's a door right back here that is already unlocked. It should lead outside, I guess? Yeah, okay. That means we've unlocked, should have unlocked all the doors outside. 